so we have created a table definition for the sequential file in my previous video this video is a continuation for video number two so after creating the sequential file let's see how that uh, table I mean how that uh, table definition looks like so you have you see here sequential and there's a folder and this is the table definition we have created so when we click on that it shows the columns we have like serial number name and state and um, the data type and the format I mean it's it's a first line in column names and the delimiter is comma right so this is how uh, we create the table definition for normal regular files apart from database so now that we have no about known about uh, table definitions let's move to another important concept called parameter sets creating parameter sets so parameter sets I mean before parameter sets uh, you need to know what are parameters job parameters there are basically two levels of parameters one is job level and the other is project level so uh, the parameters are basically specific information which you need to give uh, when you when you wanna run the job it's not like while designing when you wanna run they need to be specific information given like server name database name uh, password I mean some depends on the job you design so these in any real-time project you will never and ever give the direct database name or the server name or the password it's always given in parameter uh, parameters all the re all the values are always parameterized it's, it's one of the important uh, interview questions so the values are never hard coded never and ever hard coded you need to remember that so basically in your job design you can specify a job parameter to represent this uh, needed information so when you run the job when you are about to run the job you are then prompted to supply a value for the job parameter so yeah I mean basically parameter sets uh, I mean uh, like the table definitions and jobs the parameter sets are also stored in the repository and the parameter sets enable the same job parameters to be used by different jobs like if you have a set of uh, if you have a set of parameter uh, you can just have a, like whole uh, if you have like different databases you can just create one database username and password and give it a and uh, click on all those uh, all those parameters and with all the required parameters you can just create a parameter set with different name and with other database name you can just create an other parameter set so that's pretty uh, pretty cool I mean basically parameter sets are like you are likely to reuse in other jobs whenever you need this set of parameters in a job design you can just insert them into the job properties from the parameter set you need not define them individually so yeah this is uh, basically the as I said uh, they are stored in repository and are available to use in your job designs when you run jobs you can just make uh, if you uh, and the other important thing is if you make any changes to a parameter set object these changes are automatically reflected in job designs that use these parameter sets until the job is compiled once the uh, I mean uh, it, 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 I mean if, if the set is changed uh, obviously that gonna affect the job so make sure you have uh, the right parameter set for the right kind of job so now uh, I'll show how to create a parameter set in data stage so yeah I open my designer client again so for creating uh, first I'll show how to create a parameter and then I'll uh, show how to create a parameter set so if you see here uh, this this is icon the small icon when you when you uh, just keep your cursor on it it shows job properties this is where you click on it and this opens a window and this is parameters on the second tab parameters and we need to create a parameter like a parameter uh, let's say the server obviously we need to give server uh, server name and this is a prompt uh, which we need to uh, which we need to give so it's server name okay and the type is the server name is always string right uh, it's always a character so my server name is Oracle and the other name is username 
which which is used pretty often so we need not type uh, always the username so username i mean you can it it doesn't matter you can give anything in the prompt it just for like this description part and it's string again and my username is caught and the password password for uh, this and this is again password sorry password and this time it's encrypted you you should make sure that your password is always encrypted right because it doesn't make sense when you have when you don't have encrypted password what's the use of password then if it's not encrypted so yeah so you time uh, you type the encrypted password and then click on ok and see you have all these parameters you can use them individually you can use them individually once I create the job I can just uh, show you how to create them individually and this is how you create parameters not only for server username password there are a lot of other parameters which you use in your job but for just simple simpler understanding I use these three now that you have parameters uh, let's know how to create a parameter set just click on uh, shift and check all these click on all these things just uh, select all these uh, I mean it doesn't matter you can just shift and click or just drag and uh, drag and you see here you there's a create parameter set thing right so click on this when you click it asks for a parameter set so let's say mine is I mean let's say Ruchika one so my parameter set is one so that I know okay so let's say Ruchika uh, so one okay so I know that this is like Oracle one so you can have like when you have your job named uh, you can just put it this you can have a long, long description like who created when it is created why it is created what are all the things we have and everything you can have a long description it doesn't matter so yeah these are the parameters right so we need not do anything else so values values are like uh, we just have to give the value name like server server is I mean value is like the name of the thing so when I just give like SA1 or something I mean anything it doesn't really matter so your server when you give this Oracle Scott so whenever you want to choose this these parameters like Oracle Scott and uh, this thing you need to have like SA1 you need to have SA1 when you want to create another thing you can just go for SA2 so once it's created just click on OK and it's gonna ask way to save it so I mean it doesn't really matter you so you can just go for jobs and yep so you can just go for it and yes so that is how we create it so now uh, if we click on the jobs uh, wait a moment yeah I'm sorry uh, so this is where uh, it is created jobs Richika. so when you click on this this is Richika uh, server one and this is the parameter set which is created so yeah this is how we create the parameters so yep that's it guys this is how we create the parameter so yeah I'll, I'll just show you a simple job so you can better understand how the parameters are defined so uh, here is an Oracle database so because my database is Oracle I just chose Oracle connector and just uh, how to bring on the stage just click on this and just drag on to this that's it so you can just uh, do that and after that just right uh, right click hold the right click and then sorry just uh, hold hold the right click and just drag it I'm so sorry so yeah you can just hold the left click and just drag it anywhere and you can just uh, you can have a uh, link which you can drag and drop similar to the stage uh, I mean and also you can just hold on to it and just drag with uh, drag on to this uh, that's another way of drawing the link so let's see how the, the parameter works now so when you click on this see it's asking because we need we are using connect uh, we, we are using 
the database connection we need to give its name username and password as I said uh, in this in this video that never and ever hard code values it's always uh, the best practice and it's always mandatory that we choose the parameterized values uh, if you guys remember I just created a, so, uh, I just created Ruchika P parameter one right so if I just click on this it's gonna have this so this means that it's parameterized so no one will be able to see what is your username what is your password and anything so this is pretty cool right you need not type and you need not do anything so yeah I, I mean I, I'll discuss with uh, this Oracle stage later so it's asking uh, I, I'm not writing any SQL statements so I'm just like uh, lazy to write so I'm just uh, selecting generate SQL runtime so it's gonna auto generate itself the SQL code and the table I'm gonna use is my ski it's always uh, it, you need to always choo choose your schema name so yeah so you because my schema is HR I'm putting it employ HR dot employees if you just put employees it doesn't read it because I have used here Scott my username is Scott but I'm using HR right so the schema is different so Scott has many users in it as many schemas in it so I need to mention my schema so once uh, once we are done with that column no need to worry about all these things just move on to the next tab columns and this is where you learn how to use uh, table definitions so just click on the load uh, here and see you have table definitions tab table definitions so you just click on uh, HR employees right so choose this and click on OK and it it gonna ask if you want all the all the fields or only specific fields. If you don't any uh, any other fields, just click on phone. I don't want email. Okay, so just click on email and just put it this way. So just email is gone now. If I need uh, if if I if I again need email, so I just click on this. So everything is there. So this is like we need to choose what we need and what do we do not need them. So click on okay and see everything is there so this is the metadata and this is how the table definition we use so I mean sometimes we can change the table definition or recreate a table definition so that's where the save gonna help us save uh, we have this table definition so it gonna ask us uh, this, uh, ask us the table definition so we can just save a new table definition and use it in other jobs or other uh, job level projects so once you have the metadata only when you have the metadata this view data is highlighted otherwise you don't have a uh, view data highlighted see now I always said that the runtime when you are running the job it gonna ask for specific par uh, specific things right so these specific things we are giving we are we have given it in the parameter form so now I select Rishika PS1 which is my parameter and he, and it's all filled so now click on OK and this is the data we need right so yeah so this is how it works so I have shown you how how to create a parameter set and how to use a parameter set and uh, how to, and how to create a table definition and how to use a table definition and if it's already existing we just need to load and if it's not existing then we need to save I mean if it's new table definition then we need to save and we can just reuse it in any other job so yep that's it guys uh, this is how we create table definitions parameter sets and this is how we use it so yep in next in my next video we'll start on working on server jobs and the stages involved in it so it will be pretty exciting with all the graphical representation and all that i think you're gonna guys gonna love it thank you so much for uh, watching this video thank you guys